Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. to take home the title. Usual, the eyes of the mixed martial arts world are fixed upon Patty, the Batty Pimplet, when he competes. And anytime you're able to win when you're not at your best, as was the case in his win over Jared Gordon, that's a feather in your cap. Pimplet back on the horse tonight. Win. Ultimately, that's what it's all about. Patty Pimplet gets the job done. But listen to this arena. Listen to the reaction oh. that people give this young man when he steps from behind the curtain. This guy is a star. He has that star quality about him. But not only does he have that, he can fight. And ultimately, it's about winning fights. Patty Pimblett does that in spades. There are so many components to this Patty Pimblett package, the accent, the persona, but this is a very talented mixed martial artist out to prove as much yet again tonight. All right, both fighters have now touched down in the world-famous octagon, ready to go with more live action from Toyota Center here in Houston, Texas, USA. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alex Politan Pereira! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Patty, the Patty, Pimlet. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, here we go with round one. Alex Poetan Pereira, one of the best strikers. Oh, he's hurt. Judges here, look how wobbly he is. Oh, nice job to land it. Knee to the body, man. I wish I was that tall. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Connects now with the one two. Land. 
Best punch in the game. Beautiful jab. Pimlet's kick is blocked. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him, and this is with it there. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Oh, he passes the half guard. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. That submission looks tight. Oh, that's got to be it. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Neon Belly. Postures up Neon Belly. He's raining down Brawling Kong. He has to move or the fight is going to get stopped. Changing the position. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Pimlet's back to the side control now. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Pineda getting worked from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. Right. Round two is next. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout. But you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we are, early round two. Job raising the guard to block the strike and now counters with a straight punch. So that's a beautiful sequence out of the long run. He's got a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick and blows. What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. Just unable to quite find that range. Tries to work it into a takedown. Right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, back and forth we go. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw. Oh! That'll do it! Alex Pereira has done it again! Holy smokes! Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 11 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Alex 
Wow, what else can you say about Alex Pereira? We have called most of his UFC fights, but another knockout tonight. This dude's just devastating. I mean, these moments are now starting to be reserved for him because he's the one of the only guys in the UFC.